All right, fellas, this is my third attempt at uh, creating this video here, but let's uh, see what happens. So we're going to do two full ice drills with the other team at the start of practice. Um, for the first one, we're going to take both teams and line you guys up at center ice just like this. There'll be two cones here and two cones here. Coach is going to be down here in the corner with pucks, and we'll have some at center ice with you. It's going to start out as a 2 one and then after the 2 one shot, the two fours that just shot the puck are going to sprint down the ice, and I'm going to send two back checkers after you. So it looks like this. First two players take off. Guys go full speed. If you guys are going slow, we're going to send a coach to chase after you to take that puck away. Once you guys take your 2-1-0 shot, if the rebound comes to you real quick, you can play it. But your big responsibility is turning around and getting down here real quick. All right? Um, whichever one of you gets down there faster and is open for a puck, call for it, and the coach in the corner will feed it to you. On the second whistle, the next two guys in line are going to take off, and I'm going to send them after you. Those are back checkers. Okay? They're going to do their best to take away the pass to eliminate you from being able to get that puck. Their second big responsibility, though, is if that pass is made, they are to come back here to the house and clear out any rebounds because we know Austin and Griffin are going to stop those first shots. So they come back and clear out any rebounds just like we would in a game situation. Okay? There's also another second um, full ice drill, but I'll wait to explain that to both teams because they're going to need to understand it too. The rest of these aren't in any particular order, but I'll just go through them real quick. This is a good warm-up game I like to get your feet moving, get you guys uh, have some fun with the puck. It's called sideline game. Instead of running it at center ice like this, I'm just going to turn it and run it this way so we can get in our zone and, and get away from the other team. Uh, basically, there'll be one or two people in the center ice. Um, black is shooting on red goalie. Red is shooting on black goalie. Coach will be here with pucks. The cool part is, is every single person can shoot the puck. So if I'm the black dude in the center and I have the puck, I can pass to one of my teammates. I can then sprint to the net. He can give and go with me. Or he can take a shot on the net. I can crash the net for a rebound. Okay? So every single person needs to be in a hockey position ready to go and be an option for your teammate. All right? Big key thing you'll hear me talk about all year is being an option. If the puck goes wide or the goalie covers up, you're going to hear me yell new puck. Anytime I yell new puck, I'm going to send a new one in because I'm trying to keep the flow of the drill going very, very quickly. Okay? One of the things I do is if a puck comes out to the side and you guys miss it because we're not paying attention or not in our hockey position, the whole team does 10 push-ups. Okay? So keep that stick blade on the ice and uh, be active in the game. All right, fun game to play. This drill's fun. Uh, it's a good shooting drill, and it covers drop passes, crash in the net, and also works on timing for our goaltenders, allows them to see pucks from all three areas of the ice, uh, and looks like this. Player one will take off out of the corner with the puck. He is going to shoot it, and then he's going to come down here into the corner and pick up another one. Player two, you do not have a puck. You're going to skate a full circle around the closest circle you're at. Then you're going to come up here in the neutral zone and get a drop pass from player number one. Player three, you're going to come up here and skate an inside out pattern through the neutral zone, and you're going to come down and take a shot. It's very important, guys, that our goalie sees one shot at a time, okay? Number one, he can get hurt, but number two, it does him nothing because in a real hockey game, he will never see two pucks at once. So we want to be able for him to focus on each of his angles here. So player one will shoot first, player three will actually shoot second, and player th uh, number two will shoot third. But it looks like this. So one's going to go around the top of the circle and put a shot on the net. Meanwhile, green, player two, you've already gone one big lap. You're coming up in the neutral zone. Player three just did his circle. He puts a second shot on goal. Important right here, drop passes. We're going to have two players coming up to the neutral zone head on. Typically, you guys are probably wondering who goes where, who goes left, right, and you slow down or you end up running into each other. Well, our game plan is going to be that the puck here always skates in front of the person that does not have the puck. The player receiving the drop pass is going to skate behind. Because you guys know what our plan is, you can come full speed through the neutral zone and accept that pass. And this will be our game plan for games as well. So player one with the puck skates. He drops it back to player two. Player two is going to come in across the blue line. And I'd like to see a shot from the blue line up here with one crash in the net for a rebound. Player two, if you want to do a slap pass and pass it to one each crash in the net, that's fine too. But the point is for our goalie to see a wrist shot here, um, see a wrist shot from player three, and then see a high shot from the top of the points. Okay, next one's a fun game that my team liked from last year. It's a tip-in drill. Gets our uh, defense involved with um, slap shots, wrist shots, snap shots, and uh, our forwards trusting those D as well. Uh, the only way a goal can be scored is on a deflection. So forward, if you have a breakaway, you cannot shoot the puck. You somehow have to get that puck up to your D um, for a deflection. So, obviously, green D shoots on black uh, goal, uh, goalie, and black D shoots on green goalie. So in this instance, Green's got the puck. So he can look for his green forwards to get open. He can do a slap shot or a wrist shot, like we were talking about with the LA Kings Stanley Cup series. 
A bunch of their goals were scored off the deflected wrist shots from the point. Uh, but either one. And if the puck is deflected in, it's a goal. If for whatever reason it goes in the corner, Green, pick it up. Find a way to get it back up to your defense, and he's going to do the same thing again. All right? Now, if uh, well, if Black takes the puck, obviously they're going to headman it to their defenseman. You guys are going to find a way to get open, and the D is going to take that same opportunity shot for deflection as well. Okay? Um, keep in mind, guys, you don't have to be straight in front for a deflection. As I'm coming across with my stick blade on the ice, he can take a shot wide, and it's just tipped in that way. Many, many different ways to deflect the puck. Defense. If the forwards come up and take away all your opportunities, nothing says you just have to throw the puck away. You can dump it back in the zone, indirect pass to one of your forwards, or make a direct pass to one of your forwards, allow them to get some open ice for you, they'll pass it back up, and again, you'll take a shot. The real game-like situation in this is, number one, deflections, but number two, you're put under time constraints, okay? So if you hold on to it too long, they can come take it away. Um, if you are uh, pressured and there isn't an option, you can get the puck in deep again, um, but it's a really fun hockey game. In the neutral zone, we'll have some other stuff going on while the next players are waiting their turn. be about 40 seconds before the next group goes in. Great passing drill. We're going to use three circles, this one, this one, and we'll try and use this one as well. You guys are going to set up with the player at the bottom, side, and top, just like that. Players two and one are going to make five passes. One, two, three, four, and here comes the fifth one. On the fifth one, F1 is going to do a give and go with player three. He's going to go towards the net, receive the puck right back, and F1 is just going to tip it to the next passer in line. And you see the rotation that just took place. This player replaces him, and this player moves up uh, to this line. So here's our third pass, our fourth pass. I'm sorry, that's our fifth pass. Give and go with player three. And player one just tips it to the next passer line. Great puck control drill. If we have a hard time with our one-touch passes being out of control, we'll just stop, collect the puck, and make a pass. Um, baby steps. I'd rather see you guys have full control of the puck versus uh, creating that turnover. And then as we get better at one-touch passes, we'll speed it up, okay? Uh, next drill, we already went over that one. Because we're doing the 5,000 puck challenge, I want to make sure that you guys are doing those shots correctly at your house. So we're going to break up into three stations here. There'll be a coach at each station. This one will be a shooting station where we're doing snap, wrist, and slap shots. Um, coach will watch your form, make sure we're putting them in where we want to, talk about how do we aim, how do we make the puck go where exactly we are looking. Uh, on this station right here, uh, player one is going to take off around the cone. He'll get a pass from his buddy, quick shot. You'll come back around this cone, second pass, second shot. And we'll work that where we're doing mohawk turns, forward turns, back turns, everything. We'll do some different things. Up here in the neutral zone, players are going to sprint full speed. You're going to have someone chasing you, trust me. You're going to pick up a puck. You're going to transition it backwards around this cone full speed. Once you get up around the top here, you go back to forwards. You'll do a 360 around a cone here, 360 around a cone here, and you'll end up on that side. Um, basic drills, guys, that uh, every player needs to have, and um, you can watch the Caps do drills just like this in practice. Again, has nothing to do um, as you move up with uh, your age groups and your levels. The drills do not change that much. It's just the speed at which they accomplish these drills. And the coaches are going to push you on your speed. Last drill I've got um, <clears throat> is a uh, endurance drill. It's going to be instead of doing suicides, you're going to make this more fun, right? So we're going to line. We're going to have two of these going at once. But I'll just explain this side. We're going to line players up across the zone here. There'll be pucks here, pucks here, and a goalie in each net. This guy is going to get winded, right? But everyone's going to get a chance. So what's going to happen is on the start of the drill. Coach will blow the whistle. You're going to do a give and go with the first guy in line. He's going to give you the puck back, and you have to do a quick shot on goal as soon as you get that puck. After you shoot, you're going to sprint across the ice. You'll pick up a second puck. You're going to turn. You're going to hit the first guy in this line with a give and go pass. He's going to give you the puck right back. You're going to take a shot on net, and you're going to sprint back to the boards this way. After the passer gives you a pass, they're going to take a knee. That way you know that they've already done it. And so what's left are these four guys right here. You'll continue your give and goes until every single person on the goal line is taking a knee. Then it's up for the next guy to go. Um, what's more fun than shooting a puck, right? So you're going to get a ton of shots. Uh, goalie is going to see a ton of shots, and you get to work on your passing. Big thing here is obviously leading our player on a pass. Make sure we have that stick blade on the ice as we talked about. Um, I'm going to pass to where the stick blade is, or your players are going to pass to where the stick blade is. Uh, I believe that covers most of the drills. Um, might make some changes as we go along, but that's the gist of it. If there's something you didn't understand, make sure you guys watch it a second time. That way you're going to go for tonight.
All right, boys. See you then.